All right, so this is another problem we didn't have in class. And again, I sent you an email on the previous podcast, and I'll try to maybe redo that. But um, I miswrote one of the sum ones, unfortunately. So this should be cosine of alpha plus cosine of theta. I think in the previous video, I accidentally put sine there. But um, you're adding two cosine functions of different angles, and then that should be two cosine alpha plus theta all over two and cosine of alpha minus theta over 2. And so um, what we need to do here is we need to look at what we have. So we have this side of the trig identity, and we're trying to get it over here to see if that helps us. So this is my alpha, and this is my beta. And again, I'm just using a trig identity to see if when I do some adding and manipulating, it ends up on the unit circle so that I can get an exact answer. So it equals 2. Now the cosine of, if I add these together, I get 180 over 2. And then if I subtract them, and then again, in that order, so you got to watch your order. You can't um, commute the order there because you might get a negative angle and have to deal with even odd functions. But here, if I subtract, I get 45 over 2. All right, and so I get 2 cosine of 90 degrees. And then over here, I get cosine of, yeah, I know. Um, here I get cosine of, what, 22.5. Now, some people might be freaking out that this is not on the unit circle, but don't worry because this guy is going to come save the day. So if I look at cosine of 90, I'm up here, which is what, 0, 1. And so the cosine there is 0. So I don't really care what the number is for that. Um, it really doesn't matter because when you multiply 0 times anything, um, you're going to get 0. So I can get an exact value even without knowing that. So it's some, you know, some mystery number. I don't care what it is, but my final answer is 0. So again, the cosine alpha plus cosine beta should be that formula.